Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I know I haven't posted in a few days, that's just because I was trying to do the taillight mod and it didn't really work out and like, I didn't make it far enough in the video to even post it just because I broke some parts to the headlights. So I'm trying to get some new parts, like I messaged the company that like makes them to try and get new lenses. And yeah, so it sucks that I can't do it, but like there's not a whole lot I can do. But today we got Perinder, he's sitting inside the car, he's being super anti-social right now. We're just gonna continue on with what we left off, doing the side skirts and rear bumper. And we mocked up the side skirts and for some reason it really looks like they don't wanna fit. So we're probably gonna have to do lots of modifications to those just to get it to bend around the body because when we mocked it up, it didn't wanna like curve around and like it just seemed like it was too short. So we're just gonna have to do some cuts. So if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Brad Bove and I work on this 240 in the hopes that someday I will drive it. So make sure you guys subscribe because it really helps. It makes me feel good. And if you haven't seen the last video of us doing the front fenders and the bumper, we really put a lot of time and effort into that and we finally got it the way we wanted it to. So make sure you go watch that. What are you playing? To get some drone shots. So instead of playing your make-believe game, you wanna work on a real drift car? Okay, what do you want to do first? Side skirts or rear bumper? Start with the skirts and just start working our way back. Yeah. Okay. I think rear bumper shouldn't be too bad. Also, about two days ago, I did a poll and I wanted to see if you guys wanted to see like the duckbill spoiler. I already have a duckbill spoiler, but I'm also wanting to get like a ridiculously big wing. Not a chassis mount, just because literally nobody says a chassis mount would look good on this. And everybody says like a big wing wouldn't look good just like a trunk mount one, but I think it would, but like, but I also want you guys to help. So at the end of the video, go down and comment what you think would look best, either a duckbill or like a big spoiler. When I first got the kit and we unboxed it, what we did off camera was we just tested the side skirts because that's what I've heard doesn't fit the greatest. So we just tried it and they don't fit the greatest. You want to pick up that side? You got to go up way higher there, guy. There you go. We got to come over to me if we can. <laughs> no. no? Can't come over? Uh, what? How many inches? Like three. Oh, three inches. Okay. No, don't push too hard. Okay, so we're too short and something funky is definitely going on here. So I think what we're going to have to do is trim that little corner off right there. And then I think we should try and make that square a bit. But I think it is too short. Now it's either the casting is too short or my car is too long. The car? Yeah, that happens sometimes in factory. Yeah, I think they left it on the car stretcher for too long. Okay, let's try it now. She's still quite short. Now, do you think we should leave the front and then adjust the rear? Like, or we can cut this back a bit. Do you just want to trim this stuff first? Make minimal adjustments as we go, instead of just doing one big chop and then really pooch things. First thing we gotta do before we try and mock it up again is we gotta try and figure out how we're gonna make this sit over top. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut this back probably about maybe an inch. It's not the most ideal thing, but it's the only option I think we have. Cause I'd rather not cut this off cause then it'll just look unfinished on the edge. So if we just cut this a bit, then, oh, we're just got a tape measure. We're at 68 and a half. 68 and a half. And inside to inside, inside to inside. What do we got? 68 and a quarter. Quarter inch out. Yeah. So let's take a half inch off. Okay, so that's the edge we're gonna do. We're just gonna come straight off there, down, and hopefully that'll be enough because I really don't want to cut away too much body. Okay, so even after cutting this down, it still does not want to fit anywhere near where it should be. So that's how it wants to fit right there, but like we're, we're like, like two inches too low. So if we bring this to where it wants to, we're yeah. not anywhere near 
the body gap. Yeah. Like it wants to be somewhere about in there. That's where it wants to sit, but you can tell that this flange does Needs not want to go inside the door jam. Yeah. We're probably just gonna have to shave this part down all the way around and make it completely flat. So Harina just drew a line here. So when we cut it off, just to make it fit better, it still matches the curve. It's like he eyeballed that, but it looks like it'll be pretty close. Yeah, we need to like trim all of this off on the top because otherwise it's gonna stick out. I think it'll look dumb. Hey, it's hailing. See, after we notch this, it gets a little bit closer to fitting there, but still doesn't really want to fit there. How's your sign though? Can you close the door a bit? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're getting closer to making that fit. Okay, so the problem that we're having, like even though I cut all this, it fits, it doesn't really fit. But this part sticks too far into the door. This part sits like right here. So the problem is, I don't know what the problem is actually. These are just... The skirts, it's just low quality stuff. Like that's how it wants to sit, like right there. And that gap is no good. And then this part sits behind the door and then I, it, it just doesn't really fit. These skirts are not wanting to fit at all and it's starting to really irritate me because it's not like the front bumper and the fenders where like they were close. These things are not even anywhere near where they should be. Like we just tried test fitting this other skirt right here and it's basically the exact same. It's like slightly better, but it, it still does not want to fit. And it's just so frustrating because like this has taken us like, I don't know, like six, seven hours of just, test fitting, shaving stuff down, trying it again, keep doing it and just thinking of techniques that we can do and none of them are working. Like at this point, like I just really don't know what we're gonna do. A few moments later. So we came up with a plan. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take as much off here as we can. We're gonna trim that down basically so it's gone. Do the exact same thing, take that off as much as we can. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try and get this thing to fit pack it up as much as we need to, just to make it look good. And just figure out how we're gonna mount it later, but we just want this thing just to fit. Yeah, basically what we're gonna do is remove as much of this as we can so we can get this to flex. So Harinder was saying that he thinks the problem is why none of this stuff fits, is because they make one mold, but then they keep using it over and over and over again. And eventually, stuff's gonna start building up in that mold, and stuff's just gonna not be the same as it was the first try. I think these side skirts are just a great example of that because they don't wanna fit even the slightest and it's so annoying. Like there's no reason we should be having to like hack them up this much just to get them to fit. So I think they really need to figure out something with this because like this is not acceptable.
So we got everything sanded. Like there's still gonna be a little bit more just because I don't wanna use a grinder. I just don't really wanna risk taking off too much material because then that's just a lot more fiberglass work that we don't need to do. So now we got the second one here and we already know what we gotta do to make them fit. We just gotta take all of this material out. Like that is super thick just so it makes it like one eighth thick and we can flex it over the body line because that was the problem that we were having. Yeah, we're not getting the greatest fitment right there. Other than that gap though, like we can get the top to line up pretty good. And over there fits nice. It's just right here, it just really doesn't want to fit. Okay, so the only thing that we can think of is we're just gonna come back later once we're doing like all the body work, like all the fine tuning stuff. We're just gonna fill that in with fiberglass. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. Unfortunately, it's not the best and most ideal idea, but it's really the only thing me and Herner can think of. And to clarify, we're not gonna just fill it with fiberglass, we're just gonna build an edge off of here. Yeah. And then shape that edge. To make it look on. like it's supposed to be there instead of just having a, just having a terrible Yeah, fill. so basically just build it out till here and then shape it. <laughs> That looks really good. Okay, so I'm happy with the way we got this sitting just for now until we get more fiberglass and we're gonna do some actual body work. But basically, we just wanna get this on the car for now. So now we finally get to start working on the rear end and getting so much closer to being done this. I wanna say this is gonna be the easiest part, but I really don't think it will be. Not one thing with this kit genuinely wanted to fit. Like the front bumper took a little bit of trimming and like a little bit of work, but everything else, is taking a lot of time and that's why it's taking so long to film this. Okay, so that works pretty nicely. It fits really good there, but now the problem is, is it raises up. So we're just gonna take that part down just so it matches because that's really straight. Okay, so we got this bumper to fit and it fits really good. The whole body line, there's just a little bit of body work that needs to be done there. But we just put a couple self tappers on the inside of the body shooting that way. We just put one on each side, but it's looking really good. Like Printer did an amazing job leveling this whole thing out. Okay, so we just put two more screws in on the side. We can't do the Clecos just because they aren't long enough to reach all the way through the fiberglass. So we're just gonna leave that for now. But basically we got the whole entire kit on minus the wing, but it looks really good. I'm really impressed on how everything turned out. And we got everything to fit really nicely, especially Harinder. Shout out to Harinder because he did the most work and the best sanding I've seen out of this kid so far. And he did it on my car and I'm really happy. So make sure you guys show him some love by following him on Instagram. Okay, ready to lower it down? That looks so good. I'm super excited. That looks really good, eh? Is like the first thing I ever wanted you to do. It does need to be a lot lower and I will lower it soon but need to figure out the exhaust system first. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video because it took so long and I really wish I could have posted more but it's just this is so time consuming but I really appreciate if you guys made it to this point in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later.